In this video, I want to talk about how we connect the PowerFlex 525 to CCW, better known as Connected Components Workbench. And a couple things. First, we have an IP address already set to this VFD, and I have some videos in this playlist that show you the two ways to set the IP address to it. We have just your standard Ethernet cord di connected directly to the PC, the programming PC. And for some of us old timers, this does not have to be a crossover cable. This can just be a standard Ethernet cord. So once this is connected and you know you've linked through it through RS Links, and again, I have videos on that, I want to show you how we connect the PowerFlex 525 with Connected Components Workbench. So I'm going to scroll down here into my Rockwell Automation Connected Component Workbench and click on it. This typically boots up pretty quick. Now, in this case, I want to create a new project. So I'll select New Project. I'll just let this be called Cleat Tech 1. I'm going to select a specific location for it, and I'm going to select Create. Now, it doesn't know that I'm attempting to create a VFD programming scenario here because there's a lot of different things you can actually program within CCW. So I'm going to go ahead and here and say select existing device. I'm going to come to the Cleat Tech drive that I created in a previous video and I'm going to select the VFD that is on there and I'm going to select OK. Then I'll click here. I'm going to say add to project. This will identify this specific program that I'm creating. If I wanted to come in here, I could rename it. I could give it a description. And out in the field, more than likely you would want to do that. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and keep it simple. Select OK. And we are good. It is showing me the 525 that is out there. So now what I want to do is I can begin programming from here. Now I am actually, they are aware of each other. The laptop is aware that there is a VFD out there with a specific IP address that it can be programmed to, okay? And I'm going to have videos on how to do a lot of this, but we can go in here to the parameters and we can begin to either change them and download it to by coming over here to connect. I can make a bunch of adjustments in here on specific parameters and then download to it. I can upload from the VFD, meaning I would take all the parameters from the VFD and bring them into this file. I can even connect and sync with it as well, and I can watch it in live time. All right, and all of these scenarios are really important to understand based upon what specific scenario you're dealing with, okay? So this is how you get connected to this. Okay, and so if I were to come here, select connect, I'm now connected with this, I can go live, and when I activate the start button, you can see here that I can monitor the output frequency, output voltage, I can monitor all of these things in here in connected components workbench. This is how you connect connected component workbench to a PowerFlex 525. I hope this video helped, and as always, if it did, please hit the like and subscribe. Thank you.